We got a great God. This God is just, it, he is, he's amazing. Today, we're occupied with so many challenges in life. And it's very easy to forget how awesome God is. Let's take a moment, if you will, because through the Reverend Dr. Ivory Bonner, God wants to remind you that he is still God. You can't help but fall in love with him. The more you get in this word, the more you see how awesome he is, how wonderful he is, how beautiful he is. He's just a great God. He, he has a, a way of attracting you to himself. And when I get into his word, and especially in, in the book of Ephesians, I'm finding things that he's already done for me that I could never have done for myself. And he wants to give me everything he got. And I, for the life of me, I don't understand that. I don't understand how and why God want to do that for me. But he did. And I guess the amazing part is, it's done. It's already done. It's not something going to happen. He's not going to see if I'm going to wait and see if I'm going to be good or bad uh, or naughty. Uh, no, he's already done that. And I'm beginning to sense it. The Holy Spirit reveals it to me. And it gives me uh, such a rush that it keeps me, wakes me up in the morning, it keeps me all day long to know that this God, for whatever reason, uh, maybe my mind can't even comprehend the reason, but he's done this for me. Let me show you one thing that he's done, and this is in Ephesians chapter 1. It says in, uh, uh, that, that I would be uh, Paul was praying. He says that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saint, and, uh, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power towards us who believe. These are in accordance with the working strength of his might. Now he did that way back on a hill called Calvary when he died on that cross. In fact it says um, 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 uh, when he went into the grave and rose on the third day and now he's at the right hand of the Father and he's in the scene for us. He's praying for us. So not only do I have the Holy Spirit praying for me, I, I've got Christ himself praying for me and that's just amazing to me. And, and, and can you imagine what they're praying about? What, what are they praying about? And I'm going to just take a wild guess and say it's, it's probably the will of God that God wants me to be and do uh, in my lifetime. So I'm 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 happy with God and now my goal in life is to make him happy with me and he told me I could do that if I just obey him so I'm trying to see how to get closer to him and obey him but I really like what he says in this last part he says when he brought it about in verse 20 he says what you brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand of the Father above all rulers and authorities and powers and dominion and every name that's named not only in this age but also in the one to come and he has put everything on his feet and to him be all the glory so I'm in that in fact the Bible tells me what God did he put me in a special place he put me in Christ so now I'm in Christ can't be taken out of Christ. I'm, I'm in him. He's in me. And now that we had this wonderful relationship, he's revealing to me how good he really is. And I'm getting excited about how good he really is. I, I just didn't know a God could be this good. So I'm falling in love with him. In fact, I'm free falling. I'm not even trying to catch myself. I, I'm, I'm just going to keep falling and falling and falling in love with him. Um, um, and, and I want to... And our next broadcast, we want to look at two people, Simeon and Anna, and talk about, y'all sure y'all couldn't have found a day to go fishing, or a day to shoot some pool, or a day to play some jacks, but they were enjoying, enjoying God so much they didn't need it. And that's what I want to get to. I want to get to where God is my fulfillment. He, he's everything I need, my completion, my satisfaction, he is who makes me what I am. So when I find that out, I want to be able to say, God, thank you for the enrichment that you're doing in my life. 
So she'll be praying. Father, here we are. We just want to say thank you. Thank you again. Thank you again for enriching us. God, we are so rich. It's unbelievable. And not only do you bless us with spiritual riches, but then you turn around and bless us physically and materially and material-wise. And Father, we just glad about you. Thank you for choosing us before the foundation of the world. So we love you and we praise you. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.